Hi, this is Heather from Party Masters, and we are going to learn how to make a really cute ladybug. So the first thing we want to do is fill up a balloon, color of the child's choice. And once again, you only need about a foot and a half of this. I've overdone this a little bit, but that really doesn't matter okay but you don't need a lot once again we're going to do a very small pinch or petal twist okay now you're going to twist this and remember to keep this little nozzle knot on the opposite side okay so it's really nice and tight then take it and put it through once again, you do a nice small front because you don't want the weight of the front pulling the legs and the back up, okay? Then you are going to make four two-inch cylinders. Now we want to take those four cylinders and lock them, okay? Now the only difference between a turtle and a ladybug is the turtle has one shell and a ladybug has two. So you make two backs same length roughly as this is. Lock them together. Okay. And then trim off your end. Hang on to it because you don't want to start letting the air out of here and it could. Put the top and the bottom together, the legs and the wings, and then put that around the two pieces and give it a nice tight pull so it's tightly together. Do that a couple of times, come out somewhere different, and that will give you a really nice tight Sorry, cannot talk and cut at the same time. You can also take the nozzle and just hide it back there. So once again, you have a really nice, clean looking ladybug. Something I just learned is that ladybugs are actually a type of beetle. And they're quite often called ladybird beetles. <laughs> I almost can't say that. So with the side of your marker, we want to put at least five dots on here. Okay, on each side. And you want them to offset each other. Kind of like how dice would. They would go, you know, they wouldn't be right beside each other. Same thing on this side. Feel free to add more dots if you have time. It's uh, It may be important to some children that there's a certain number of them, but most don't mind. So we're gonna do that and we're doing that first once again to give it a chance to dry before you're gonna give it to the child. And you're going to do a couple of eyes. When I have time, I love to do hearts for eyes instead of the uh, regular dots. A little nose and a little mouth. Now feel free to be creative, like I said, when you have time. But this is a perfectly, perfectly wonderful ladybug that the kids will love. Thank you. Bye.